Team, I want you to take two minutes and I want you to read this one over. This is from that older uh, two minute question. It's an older test from the RICA exam from 2014. It's at least 10 years old. And I want you just to practice starting from the beginning to the end. Read it to yourself and see if you can identify the main concept that pops out. Okay. Uh, take uh, take two minutes. You probably can do it in one minute, but take two minutes now. Read it. Pause the video. Read it, and then unpause. Okay, and we'll talk. Go. Unpause. All right. Let's look at it. Now, this isn't a hard question. Uh, you're going to notice that the the length of the question is just a one sentence question, and the answers are in phrase form. Right. So. 10 years ago or 12 years ago or, you know, when they were writing this 15 years ago when they were editing it, right, the questions were very basic. We would say this has a low linguistic complexity. You mean it's, it's not a long question. It's short, simple, one, one sentence uh, question. And, and our friend is right there. The main concept is looking at you. Bunch of words. There's no, there's no searching. <laughs> you walk into the cafe, there's two people, three people in the room. One of them's your friend, function words, right? So you need to be like function words. Oh, I know these function words. In your mind, you're like, these are high frequency sight words, right? And so that makes it a lot easier to answer. So if I read this over, function words, right off the bat, you see your friend, such as to, the, and of, are most appropriately taught in the context of which of the following areas of reading instruction? Phonics skills? Not really. If this had said, if it had said, because um, these are not really words, uh, these function words are re part regular and, you know, you wouldn't really use phonics to decode them. We already said that. We don't really approach these from a phonics angle. We approach high frequency sight words as uh, memorizing them because there's so many of them that are irregular. It's, it's easier just to memorize them. And then, and then um, use, you know, um, uh, words that are decodable, like uh, cat, fast, quickly, to, to practice phonics patterns. So, so these words right here, like these, these words right here, function words, you really wouldn't use them in like a, a phonics activity because they could, so many of them could be irregular. So let's go back to this one right here. Um, if the, the words, however, were like, let's say it was saying like uh, content. Let's say it was saying content words. And such as, uh, let me just practice, uh, such as cat, sheep, cow, just using animals as a theme here. Then if it said content words such as cat, sheep, cow are most appropriately taught in the context of, well, then phonics would be a great answer choice because cat is a CVC word. Sheep has got a constant diagraph and a vowel diagraph. Cow has got a diphthong, right? Okay, so it doesn't say that, so we're going to cross it out. If it did say that, we're going to know to go with the answer choice A, right? How about um, function words are good for structural word analysis? Is that true? Not really, right? I mean, function words like we and uh, you and, and prep and, 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 and or we should use the words that they give you to <laughs> the of. I mean, there's no like prefix, base, and suffix, right? So when we do structural word analysis, we look for words that have like affixes, like prefixes, suffixes, uh, some type of stem, which is going to be either a root or a base. And, and none of these are those words. If it had said multimorphemic words or multisyllable words such as um, replay, and uh, fastest, right? You know, are mo they would be most appropriate for a structural word analysis activity. Or another really good one are compound words like back, pack. Compound words are really good for structural word analysis. In fact, usually if you ever see this stuff, compound words in a, uh, a passage and the student is having difficulty with them, I mean, if you ever see compound words, that is like a dead giveaway for structural word analysis. Because the strategy would be to take that multimorphemic word or the word with these two bases and chunk them. Okay, but we don't see those words, so it's out. Team, I know the answer is D. I'm doing a lot of work 
to sort of preview other ideas here that I think are super important, okay? It's not just to get the answer, it's to get you ready for your essay. Now, I've already given you examples of words that might match with phonics and words that might match with structure word analysis. We're not doing academic, I mean, everything that we do in phonological phonemic awareness and vocabulary development, all the things that we do are to get students ready for dealing with academic language. When we think of academic language as all the language a student needs to succeed in school involving oral language, reading and writing activities. It's a big idea. A lot of times it has to do with like helping them with these new academic words, tier two and tier three vocab. And we will talk about that in the vocabulary section, but that's not what we're doing with these words. Function words are high frequency words. They're tier one everyday words. So if you didn't catch that on tier one, two and three, don't worry about it. We'll save that for the vocabulary section. So team, to make a long story short, if you see your friend function words, it's an easy A to cite words, right? Because in the first minute, the first 10 seconds, you're seeing function words, then you should know function words are high frequency sight words. Thumbs up. Oh boy, Chris, I knew that from the start. That's okay. The reason why I did this question and used this question from an old exam is because look at all the, the, the profound ideas. I should say profound, that's not the right word. These are all mega ideas. Team, sight word vocabulary is one of the big ideas you can write about on your essay. Same with phonics, same with structure word analysis. These are all major ideas that you could write about in your essay. Uh, we also get a little review of academic language, tier two and tier three vocab and function words. So, so many ideas, so many ideas in these older exams. They're just easier to do. And so in some ways they're easier to learn the concepts, okay? Okay, this is a example of a high frequency sight word vocabulary question, okay? And it's focusing on function words. Um, let's do another one. Mm, let's do a harder one. 